Her name is Carrie Mae Parker, missing from her home in Quinlan since March of 1991, after a late night drive home from work. My name is Patricia Gager, and this is my sister, Carrie Mae Parker. And in those 30 years, her sister always begging for answers and leads, with added frustration when she learned a missing persons report in Hunt County, wasn't on file for the first 19 of those years. We want to welcome you to another episode of Adventures with Purpose. But on a trip through Texas, a group called Adventures with Purpose, who document their recovery of vehicles on YouTube, decided to give Lake Tawakani a try. Hey, Jared, you hear me okay? I reached Jared Lisek today in the middle of a different search on the Sabine River near Kilgore. So far on this road trip, I think we worked about 10 of them and we've solved two of them. So Because Thursday, they focused on the FM 751 Causeway at the bottom left corner of Lake Tawakani. And after 30 years, they spent just five hours and found Kerry's 1981 Buick Skylark upside down in 15 feet of water. Yeah for where the vehicle was at and the way that it was positioned and the way that it was mangled. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say 100%, I feel confident in saying that this was 100% an accident. After all this time, remains have not been found, but additional forensic searches will be done. Carrie's sister on Facebook wrote this, it is with my deepest sadness but peaceful heart that today we did find Carrie's car. I'm really emotionally spent, but we'll have more to say in the coming days. Just know that I couldn't have done it without my beautiful small circle. I love each one of you. Their words was, you'll never know what this actually means to us. Because now, even if, you know, Carrie is not recovered from, you know, from the bottom of the lake right there, they know where Carrie is resting. But with so many three-decade-old questions still unanswered. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.